Apple is a big tech company. They're very wealthy and they make a lot of great products. They made a big change to one of their products this December with their Mac Pro. They changed the design, it's a lot smaller and there's a lot of things internally that's completely unique to it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the 2013 Mac Pro Explained. So this new Mac Pro has a cylindrical design. It is 6.6 .6 inches in diameter, which is about that big probably. Uh, it's 9.9 .9 inches tall, so let's for ease, we'll just say it's 6.5 inches wide and 10 inches tall. That's pretty small. That's a little bit bigger than a 10 inch tablet, a little bit bigger than an iPad. So if you imagine something slightly bigger than an iPad Air sitting on your desk and that is your computer. Except for the mini towers that are out these days. Most computers are really big, like this one. So you might be thinking, they made this thing so small, there's no way that they can fit things in it. It's gotta be probably less powerful than the old Mac Pro, right? No, it's not. In fact, it far exceeds anything anybody could have ever imagined the old Mac Pro doing. This new Mac Pro has dual GPUs for fast graphics processing. SSD storage, solid state storage, which I will cover in a video, but it's very efficient. Uh, Thunderbolt 2 all over the place. Apple's Apple's very uh, big with including Thunderbolt in their computers. And there's a lot of Thunderbolt ports on here and a lot of Thunderbolt capabilities support. It has Xeon processors, which are very fast. They're the most, some of the most advanced processors out today. Uh, it has super advanced RAM and it has support for 4K video. Uh, now, I did talk about 4K video and what it is in a previous video, BAM, right there. You can click there and watch it, it'll open up in the new tab. Uh, but, it does support 4K video and that's really nice because people usually buy computers to last them for years, like desktop computers, for years. So it's nice that they're including the, way of the resolution of the future, 4K, into their current computer. Um, this new Mac Pro is up to two times faster than the old Mac Pro in every way possible. Uh, and you can have up to 12 cores of processing power in the new Mac Pro, which is very, very, it helps with the processing and makes it go better for the computer. Uh, it in turn makes it even faster. Um, you can configure the Mac Pro to have up to 64 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. DDR3 RAM is the best RAM out right now and 64 gigs, that is a lot of RAM. Now this sounds like a made up unit, but it has up to seven teraflops of computing power. And yes, teraflop is a real unit of measure. A teraflop is a unit of computing speed equal to one million million floating operations per second. All right, so I pulled it up on here and it says that a teraflop is a way of measuring the floating point operations the computer processor can form every second, perform every second. So that basically means that there's a lot of computing power and processing power in this machine. And the old Mac Pro for perspective only had 2.7 teraflops max, and this one has seven teraflops. I still think that sounds made up. All right, well, the storage they decided to include, the internal storage, is two times faster than a standard SATA SSD, and those are already really blazing fast, so that's incredible that they got it to be two times, 2.4 times faster. Um, with the new cylindrical design, everything is uniquely uh, tied into one central thermal core. That's why it's cylinder. Everything goes into one, and there's one cooling fan that goes out the top and all the heat can go into the core and all cool down. Um, the thing is, you can't do internal upgrades anymore. You can't go in there and upgrade the graphics card and just by the way you can with a regular PC. Um, you can no longer go in there and put a new hard drive in it. Uh, the all changes and modifications has to be done externally through the Thunderbolt 2.0. Through Thunderbolt, you can daisy chain up to 36 devices. That's awesome, like per port. So that's awesome, but 
that's gonna make a big mess on your desk. All these wires everywhere, you got things sitting out. So then your nice clean setup that was just a big box before is now a cylinder with a bunch of stuff around it, probably taking up even more room on your desk. This is what I'm talking about. Source for this image is in the description. Um, but what is nice through Thunderbolt is you can connect up to three 4K displays. That's awesome. Um, some ports it has, it has HDMI 1.4, newest HDMI available, and USB 3.0, which is incredibly fast USB ports. They're the newest, and they're really nice. The laptop I have, the Toshiba Satellite C55TA, there's my review of it, uh, that has one USB 3.0 port, and it is really fast, I can tell you. Um, it also has Bluetooth 4.0 and 802.11 AC Wi-Fi, and those two are the most current, and they're very fast and efficient. So guys, my question to you is, what do you think of the new Mac Pro? If money weren't an object, or even if it were and you do have the money, would you go buy one? Let me know with a comment below. I will see you guys next Sunday. BAM! And it's really small, considering that most computers, in this out of my pocket here, Ugh. Most computers are, it's not even that heavy. Most computers are about this big. They're huge towers. With the, with the, I just, the thing just opened up here. That's all it was.